Yeah, what's good, everybody? It's Austin here, or Luna. So, uh, today's story time is definitely a funny one and a crazy one and just everything, honestly. Um, a few days back, I told a story about my friend's dad and how when he retired from being a police officer, he, uh, he smoked with us all and kind of like, you know, announced his retirement in a really funny way, like he pranked me. And in the end of that video, I talked about how I had a lot of other stories about him. And if you guys wanted to hear any, drop a comment. And I got a lot of comments being like, yo, tell a story about his dad again. So, yeah, um... Here I am, telling another story about it. This one is, I think, crazier and also just kind of funny at the same time. So I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you do. And let's get into it. So before I start, actually, um, if you didn't watch that video, I'll just quickly catch you up to speed. My friend's dad, growing up, he was a police officer. He was a pretty high up police officer. He was a pretty strict guy, pretty strict parent. And uh, pretty much all of our friends feared this man because, you know, we didn't want to go against him and like, getting a bunch of trouble because he was a cop. So yeah, we all were kind of scared of him. So the story time all takes place when I was 16 years old. Okay. Now at 16 years old, I was definitely, you know, um, kind of a shithead, kind of a, a little bit of a troublemaker, I would say, uh, you know, I was 16. So I was definitely still learning and, you know, going through life and stuff. Um, but I was also pretty mature for my age, I would say. I mean, I had the YouTube thing going. So I was like, you know, focusing on that a lot. And um, I was working a lot. And like any other day at 16, uh, I got home from school and I was just sitting in my room, just like withering away, playing Xbox, just being lazy. I get a text message from my friend Jordan and uh, it was a Wednesday. So it wasn't even like a weekend or anything. It was literally just midweek. And Jordan hits me up and he's like, yo, you want to come spend the night tonight? And I was like, bro, I can't. It's a school night. He's like, so I sleep over at other people's houses on school nights. And I was like, well, my mom's not going to let me do that, bro, so I can't. And he was like, just ask her. And I was like, no. He's like, bro, just ask. And I'm like, okay. So I got up, walked out of the room, went to my mom's room. I was like, mom, can I sleep over at Jordan's tonight? And she's like, are they going to give you a ride to school tomorrow? And I was like, let me ask. So I text him. I'm like, can you give me a ride to school tomorrow? Can your parents? And he's like, yeah, dude. So I went back in the room and she's like, sure. Now, this blew my mind because any time I'd ever tried that before, she would never let me. So this was a first time and I was kind of amped up. I can't lie. So I went in the other room, packed my bag. And within like 20 minutes, I was on the way to Jordan's house and I got there, went into his house. My mom talked to his parents for a little bit, made sure I was getting a ride to school. Also thanked them for giving me a ride to school the next morning. And uh, me and Jordan went down to his basement and we're just kind of kicking it, playing some skate, listening to music. And uh, from there, we hit up our other friend, our good friend, Jake. Now, Jake's the one that had the police officer father. And I literally told Jordan, I was like, bro, there's no point even hitting him up because his dad's going to say no. His dad's super strict. He's not going to let him come over. So, like, there's no point. But Jordan called him up, put it on speakerphone. Jake answers. Jake's like, hello. And me and Jordan are like, yo, come through. Like, come hang out. We're spending the night at Jordan's tonight. And he's like, it's a Wednesday. And I'm like, yeah, I know, bro. But, like, just ask. He's like, Austin, you know my dad. He's going to say no. And I'm like, yeah, just ask, though. So, like, I could hear it through the phone. He goes up to his dad. He's like, Dad, can I go spend the night with Austin and Jordan at Jordan's house? And we could hear his dad through the phone, like, from the other room. He goes, fuck no. And we all start laughing. And then Jake has an idea. He's like, Dad, what if they came here? Is that okay? And he's like, they can come by for a little bit, but they can't sleep over. And we're like, oh, okay, sweet. So after that, we hung up. We left Jordan's house, walked over to Jake's house. He lived like 15 minutes away. They were very close. So yeah, we got to Jake's house, went in there for a little bit. We hung out there for about an hour and then an hour into hanging out. His dad came upstairs into Jake's room. It was like, I got to step out for a little bit. I'm going to dinner with a friend. So you guys be good. Okay. And we're like, yeah, for sure. He's like, there's 20 bucks on the counter for pizza. And we're like, okay, sounds good. So his dad leaves and now it's just me, Jake and Jordan at Jake's house and we're just kind of sitting there for a couple minutes after his dad leaves. And Jordan has a uh, not-so-genius idea. He's like, yo, Jake. And Jake's like, yeah. He's like, what if we took that 20 that your dad left us and we buy weed? And, like, Jake and Jordan both look at me. And I was like, I'm down. And they're like, all right, all right, let's do it. So we went downstairs. We grabbed the 20. And then we realized, like, 20 isn't enough for the amount that we wanted and Jordan's like, do you have like any other money around here, Jake? Like, do you have anything like saved up? What about you, Austin? And I was like, I have nothing, bro. I'm broke. And he's like, bullshit, bro. You do YouTube. I know you make YouTube money. Keep in mind, this was like the early stages of my channel. So I definitely was not making that much money from YouTube. But I was like, yeah, I get a little bit from YouTube every month, but it's on PayPal. I can't really touch it physically. I don't have cash. And he's like, what about an ATM? I'm like, bro, do you see an ATM in this house? Where's there an ATM? 
He's like, yeah, but like we could walk to like a gas station or something. I'm like, bro, the nearest gas station is a mile and a half up the road. I don't want to walk to a fucking gas station. Like, do you have PayPal? I'll PayPal you. He's like, no, nah, that's not going to work. And then Jake chimes in. He's like, you know what? I know where my dad keeps some emergency cash. We could just take some from there. And I was like, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like stealing from your dad, that doesn't sound like a good idea. He's like, bro, he's never going to know. He never touches it. It's been there for years untouched. If he asks where it went, I can just say I needed more for the pizza. And I was like, all right, man, it's up to you. He's like, yeah, let's do it. So we go up to his dad's room. He like goes under the bed. He shows me like this little wad of cash is stashed. And it was a lot of money. It was probably like $600 in cash. And it's mostly in 20s. So I thought Jake was going to take like a 20 or two. But he proceeds to take like half of the wad. It was like $300 in cash, right? And like pocket 200. And then he gave us the rest of the 100. Like he gave us it in 20s. And I was like, what are you doing? Like we don't need this much. He's like, nah, bro, like, I'll buy the weed, and then, like, you guys can keep that for yourselves. And I'm like, bro, for what? He's like, because you guys are good friends. Take it as a gift. And I was like, but it's not you giving the gift, bro. It's your dad's money. Now, I know there's going to be, like, those two comments being like, bro, I would have taken that shit and ran. But it's like, dude, I did not want to disrespect this dude's father. Because, first of all, like I said, he was a strict motherfucker. And two, even though he was really strict, his dad did like me. His dad would let me come over all the time. And when he wasn't being super strict, he was pretty nice to me and he trusted me. And on top of that, I just don't like the thought of stealing from somebody. It just made me feel like guilty and like a piece of shit. So all that combined, I really didn't want to do this. And I told him that. I was like, bro, your dad respects me. I respect him. I really don't want to steal from him. He's like, well, it's too late now, bro. You got it. And Jake essentially wouldn't take no for an answer. Honestly, if I could assume here, I think that Jake was angry at his dad for something recently at this time. And he was just trying to get back at him. So he stole a bunch of his money. So yeah, after he took some of it and then gave me and Jordan some of it and like told us we have to keep it, we uh, left his room and we bought the weed from a friend down the street, went back to his house and uh, we were just hanging out. Now, fast forward two days later, I'm sitting in my room. It's a Friday now, so I'm feeling good. The weekend's about to hit. I had some plans. I was going to a little birthday party on this night. I was excited. My girlfriend at the time was going to be there um, and life was good, right? I still felt a little bit guilty about stealing, but you know, it was too late. I just literally was trying to block that thought out. And uh, all of a sudden I hear sirens coming down my street and I'm like, what the hell? And it was like perfect timing. As I hear the sirens, I get a text message from Jordan and it says, are the cops at your house? And I'm thinking like, yo, what the hell did this kid do? Like what happened? Why are the cops coming here? And uh, I look out the window and two cop cars pull in with their sirens on. And I hear my mom from the kitchen yell, Austin, what the hell did you do? And I walk out there and I'm like, I didn't do anything. I swear, like I didn't do anything. And uh, the cops come up to the front door. They knock. I answer the door and my mom like runs up behind me and she's like, oh my gosh, officers, like what's going on? And the one officer is like, we're just here to speak to Austin. And my mom gives me this like dirty ass look. And I was like, that's me. He goes, can you step outside? So I step outside and I'm fully convinced at this point I'm going to jail. I don't even know what it's for. I actually do not know at all, but I'm like, you know what? They're asking me to step outside. There's two cops. Like I'm going to jail and they had me step out. And, uh, the cops like, did you steal from our good friend? And then it hit me. I was like, oh shit. And I was like, yeah, but it was not my choice. And they were like, what do you mean? It wasn't your choice. And I was like, look, I'm not trying to throw my friends under the bus, but it was one of their ideas. Okay. Not mine. That's all I'm going to say. And he's like, well, Jake's father is a really good friend of ours and a very high up respected individual of the police force. So you stealing from him is a slap in the face to not only him, but all of us. So if you kindly could return the cash you took. So I went inside, went to my room, found it. I didn't spend any of it because I felt bad having it to begin with. And I gave it back to them and uh, they didn't throw me in jail. They just said, if we have to come back ever again for something like this, it could be a lot less easy going. So try not to steal anymore. And I was like, I won't. And they walked away. And as soon as they were gone, my mom shut the door and she's like, you're grounded. And I was like, what? Why? She's like, what do you mean? Why? You stole from a fucking police officer? What's wrong with you? And I was like, no. And I told her what happened. And she was like, I don't give a shit. You're done. Three weeks, nothing. So I got grounded for three weeks. That sucked. And uh, shortly after that, before she took my phone, Jake called me and he was like, bro, my dad called all his cop buddies and they came to all of our houses. I got two cops. You got two cops. Jordan got two cops, bro. Like they scared the shit out of all of us. And I was like, yeah, I know. 
And he's like, I'm so sorry, man. And I was like, it's fine, man. Honestly, it's my bad for taking it. I should have just said no, no matter what you were saying. He's like, nah, man, I forced you guys to do that. It's not cool. And I was like, bro, I thought you said he never checks it. Like, what happened? He's like, bro, I don't know. Like, literally a couple days later, he knew. And I'm like, yeah, so it seems. Now, there is kind of a happy ending to the story. Jake actually came forward a couple days later and told his father that, like, it was all his idea. And that, like, he basically made us take the money even though we didn't want to. And that was true. So, essentially, Jake's dad kind of came around and forgave us because it was his son that was being the main shithead. And, uh, yeah, he forgave us. And, like, a couple months later, we were able to start hanging out there again. And from there, like, he trusted us again, and that was nice. But, yeah, guys, I learned a valuable lesson in this story. Don't steal from people. Just don't. Stealing from people is never the answer. It's not cool. It's not right. Don't do it. Don't steal. That simple. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Definitely scared the shit out of me, and I learned a lot of valuable lessons. But yeah, if you enjoyed this story time, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys all later. Peace. I be fully loaded, I be whipping for cars Always stay devoted, mama knew I'd be a star Now I'm steady flowing, feeling like a Myers Mars I'ma keep on going, I'ma always raise the bar Told me I could not do it, looking at a